Good afternoon everyone. My name is Samuel Thompson and I am the authorised marriage celebrant officiating this marriage today. On behalf of Jack and Dulcie, I would like to thank you all for being here this afternoon, for taking the time and making the journey and for all the effort that it takes, not only to be part of this day, but a part of each other's lives. Jack and Dulcie have invited you here today to witness their marriage. Their story is unique, having found each other later in life, and yet they are as, youth as youthful as ever. Today, Jack and Dulcie will formalise what all of you gathered here today already knew, that they are going to spend the rest of their lives together in friendship, in harmony and in love. Today will be a concise ceremony and we won't take up too much of your time with formalities. Jack and Dulcie are very much looking forward to celebrating this wonderful day with you all. I want to briefly acknowledge both Jack and Dulcie's children who are here with us today. I know it means so much to your parents that you were able to join us in celebration of this momentous occasion. In the spirit of love and life, Jack and Dulcie have selected a reading to share today, Corinthians 13. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonour others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you are joined in marriage in my presence and in the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are about to enter. Marriage, according to law in Australia, is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others, voluntarily entered into for life. What we are celebrating today is not the beginning of a marriage, but a marriage already in progress. This ceremony is a symbol of how far they have come together and a symbol of the promises that they will continue to make to each other throughout their lives together. Jack, do you promise to do your very best each day to create a loving, healthy and happy marriage? I do. Dulcie, do you promise to do your very best each day to create a loving, healthy and happy marriage? I do. Now, please declare your wedding vows to each other. I call upon the persons here present witness that I, Jack William Merchant, take thee, Dulcie May Fairburn, to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Dulcie May Fairburn, take thee, Jack William Merchant, to be my lawful wedded husband. Jack, please place this ring on Dulcie's finger and repeat after me. I take you for now and for always. I take you for now and for always. Dulcie. Please place this ring on Jack's finger and repeat after me. I take you for now and for always. I take you for now and for always. It is now my honour and delight to declare you husband and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss. And Dulcie, here and here. Our first witness, Paul, here and here. Thank you, Paul. And Amanda, is here and here. Thank you, Amanda. Finally, just ask Jack for you to come up again. Sign here. And Dulcie, sign there. We'll have Paul. Fantastic. And Amanda. 